Hello everyone. We can use clay like this to discuss molecules, atoms, properties of solids, liquids, and gases. So, una gumawa mo na ng maliliit na mga atoms. Diba? What are atoms? Atoms are the smallest particles of matter. So, when you join atoms together, you make up a molecule like this one. So, since dikit-dikit, that is a molecule of a solid. Okay, so now, gumagawa naman tayo ng molecules ng liquid. So, let's just say this is an ice block, right? So, yung molecules niya are tightly packed, di ba? They can't move. That's why the ice block, the, the ice cube is hard, di ba? Now, if you add temperature or heat up the ice cube or just wait for it to melt, magiging ganito na siya. Nagtaturn na siya into a liquid that flows. So, the molecules, they flow into each other like that. Right? Tapos, if you heat it up further or wait for it, it will evaporate into gas. Tapos yung gas, yun yung, they can move quickly. And they can spread apart. Ayan. Diba? So, this one, as you can see, the ice has a solid, definite mass volume and shape. Yung liquid, mayroon siyang mass. Ito nga yung pagkadikit-dikit ng mga molecules niya, which are weakly attracted to each other, yung force of attraction niya. Pero, wala siyang definite shape. Wala siyang definite shape. Kaya nakaspread siya. Kailangan ilagay mo siya, siya, siya sa, kunyari, ito glass. Nilagay mo na siya sa glass. Diba? But it, it has a definite volume. Samantalang itong gas, it spread apart it spreads up. Yung mga molecules, they spread apart. So, even if they have mass and volume, hindi definite yung volume niya. Saka yung mass niya. Kasi, very active yung gases. They, the, the force of attraction is very weak. So, they can spread apart. So, yan. Kaya, pag natunaw na, nag-evaporate na yung tubig, naging water vapor na, Diba? Eventually, yan. Nagiging ano na siya. Nawawala na siya. So, nagiging part siya ng si Wien.